Hey guys, Leonard here with Learns Nerd Cave. Real quick before we go ahead and start the video, please do like the video, comment what you think about this mod, and do subscribe, it helps out my channel a lot. Also, if you've not gone to the 100 subscriber video yet and entered the competition, please do check out that video, enter the competition, win a free poly bag. Alright guys, today I've been wanting to reveal this for a while now. I do post pictures on my Flickr every now and then of the things I'm building that I haven't done a video on yet. So uh, in the description as well, I'll put my Flickr. So if you want to see what I'm working on right this moment, you can follow that. But I've been collecting the dark orange pieces for a while now to do the color swap on the Parisian restaurant. Um, not that there's anything wrong with the olive green version. I just already have a lot of green in my city and I felt that it was too much. Plus I wanted to use those green pieces for something else down the road. When I started this mod, I did not realize how expensive dark orange bricks are. That ended up costing me a bunch of time. And I really had to sit and go through the instructions and swap out certain pieces to see what I could get away with and it still be a structurally sound build. Now you'll notice uh, if you know the set, a couple of things missing here, like the second chimney is gone, uh, the flower pots in the back aren't there. It's because this is still a work in progress. I did want to do a video for the color swap, but this is also another mod that's going on. We're going to be really expanding the restaurant, but I'll get more into that in just a second. I'd rather just go ahead and show you some of the angles of this thing real quick. Now as far as mods are concerned on the back side, I've done a couple of things here and there. I have removed the drainage pipe that runs down the side of the building because one, there's not really anywhere for rainwater to collect on this building if it did rain in the Lego City, as well as there's no plumbing on the third or second stories anymore, so it doesn't really make sense. I also removed the trash can from the bottom floor as well as the extra area from where that drainage spout went down to that's gone I want to make this whole bottom floor back area a outdoor seated eating area kind of like in the front but I want to do it up a bit more there are going to be pillars that go up and hold up a canopy that is actually just going to be an extension of the second floor seated area just I want to fill out this whole restaurant I don't want there to be a living area on the inside anymore it's it's just going to be a, the place where everyone in the Lego City goes to eat so that it needs as much seating room as possible. On the bottom floor at the kitchen area, that's where that door is, I actually need to move that door over to where this far right set of windows is at. Mainly because if I do put a seating area out back, the only way to get there is through that door in the kitchen and we don't want customers walking through the kitchen. It's just not cool, it's not sanitary. So. I'm gonna move that door. This is kind of a hard angle to cover as far as getting inside, but even on the second floor on the inside, I've started to replicate the bottom floor. Um, let's see if I can get some of the other angles here for you. Over here, we're gonna put another uh, liquor cabinet, just like in the bottom floor. And when I do this, you can kind of see what I mean. But I'm starting to duplicate stuff on the bottom floor. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get curtains on the windows. Um, I can try. Again, it's a work in progress, but it's getting there. It's getting there. This is where we're at, guys. So I got the Parisian restaurant for Christmas. Roughly, that'll give you an idea on how long I have been working on gathering the parts, deciding what I'm going to do with it, and it's still very much, obviously, a work in progress, and we do have a ways to go. So this is going to be a while before it's done, but it is finally ready, I think, to at least sit in the city. So hopefully in the next city update, you will at least see it there. A lot of things are changing in the city, this being a really big part of it. This has changed Chuck's Deli. This has changed where the Mock Ride Shop is going to go. 
getting this was really cool but now that it's finally here a lot of things are changing just because it's getting close to being done but that's it for this video guys again do like comment subscribe and go over to the 100 subscribers special and please enter that contest. I would love to send you a free poly bag if you win the contest. So again, that's it. Check out some of the other videos that I've got. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends. Go eat about 18 hot dogs and enjoy life, guys. I'll see y'all next time.